go. So in this case, I wanted to show you the difference between three hydrocarbons, propane, propene, propyme. Hydrocarbons, because they contain only C's and H's. The propane is saturated because it has only single bonds between the carbons. Propene and propyne are both unsaturated. So I wrote the formulas out already. I wanna show you how to draw them. The first thing I wanted to let you know is that they're all prop, and that prop tells me that I have three carbons. So when I want to draw propane, what I want to realize is that the carbons are connected to each other. So draw your three carbons right away. And note, because it's an alkane, those carbon-carbon bonds are single bonds only. Now what I want to think about is how many more bonds does this carbon need in order to get to the octet? If that bond is two electrons and he needs to get to eight, we will need three more bonds in order for him to get to that octet. And in each location, I'll put a hydrogen. This particular carbon has two bonds or four electrons. So he needs two additional bonds to get to the octet. And lastly, this one on the end, since he only has those two electrons, we'll need three bonds to get to the octet. So again, the first thing I did was connect the carbons and then afterwards figure out how many hydrogens they each need. If I look at propene, again, prop, so I know there are three carbons. I will draw my three carbons. But that E-N-E -E ending tells me that there's got to be a double bond. So the double bond, it doesn't really matter where I put it. I'm going to put it right there. And if I put it right there, I look at this carbon first, and I say, how many more electrons does he need? That's two, four electrons. So he needs four more electrons or two bonds. And I'll put the hydrogens there. This carbon has six around him right now. Those are six total. So I will give him one hydrogen. And this last carbon has that one elect well, two electrons or one bond. So he'll need three more bonds around him. And if you look, everybody's satisfied with the octet. And we have C3H6. Lastly, we have propyne. So propyne, again, prop, three carbons. Draw your three carbons connected to each other. The next step is to say to yourselves, uh, it's got to have a triple bond. That Y-N-E ending means a triple bond. So I will put my triple bond here just because that's where I decided to put it. This carbon right here has two electrons. So in order for him to re reach the octet, we need to put three more bonds, which is six electrons around him. Put a hydrogen in each location. This carbon, satisfied. He's got eight electrons around him. Don't give him anything else. This carbon has two, four, six electrons. We give him one more bond to get to the eight. You could see that C3 H4. So these are all hydrocarbons. Again, what tells me that it's saturated, single bonds is saturated. The fact that this guy is a double and this guy is a triple makes them unsaturated. And they're all using tables P and Q.